in poor, poor man in vile raiment. In other words, poor man and he's got ripped clothing. And you're judging him. So you're judging these two men. Okay? And you have respect to him that weareth the gay clothing. So why would you do that? Because you think you can get something off him. Right? Because he has money. And the people in this world that have money, they can get away with a lot more. Okay? They're corrupt. Okay? A certain sit down here in a good place. See, so you're to sit here. Why? Because he has what? Status, he may have some money. Right? And say to the poor, stand over there and sit there and hand on my footstool. You know what? This is so spiritual. Type in Pharisees, um, Type in Pharisees and um, what's it, what's it, what's it, what's it called? The buildings and the temples. And guess what you're going to have? You're going to have the Pharisees and you're going to have them sitting up on them high seats and you're going to have those sitting below them. Okay, so he even shows you in these images, right? That the Pharisees were looking down upon everyone else. Okay? And it says, are you then partial in yourselves? That's partiality. Because one has rich clothing and the other's poor. So the one that has rich clothing, he can get away with more. Alright? Because image to people is everything. Right? A suit and a tie. But those that have a suit and a tie, some of them are what the most deceitful men. Right? Some of them are what the most corrupt. Okay, it's like your estate agent. You know how corrupt that business is? They're going to tell you what they need to tell you, right? So you can buy. Just like when you're purchasing a car. They don't really care. They're willing to say anything they can so you can purchase that vehicle. Why? Because at the end of the day, they're con men, they're businessmen. You have, certain, you have some good businessmen but you have others that are corrupt businessmen. They just want you to buy that thing. They don't care whether you like it or not. They're going to tell you the things that you want to hear. Are you then partial in yourselves? And I become judges of evil thoughts. So a lot of men are partial in themselves. And become judges of evil things. And that's what, the one thing I hate the most is partiality. Right? If you're getting on another man, in another camp, you better have that same energy towards the men that are around you. Not the styles that are in another camp. Hearken, my beloved brethren, have not the most I chosen the poor of this world. That's what he's saying to me. Those that are poor in this world. Poor in spirit, contrite in spirit. Rich in faith, but they're rich in faith. Right? And heirs of the kingdom, great rulers with Yahushai, which he have promised them to them that love him. To Yahushai. He's promised a kingdom to those that love him and those that trust in him. Alright? But you have despised the poor. That's what the, these men have done upon his high seat. They despise the poor. Right? Do not rich men oppress you. So where are these rich men today? These rich men have status in the truth. So guess what you would need to do? Just look and see, well, where are these men? They're on the high seats. They have 3,000, some 20,000 subscribers. And a man may say, oh, he's just hating. Bro, I'm not hating on your subscribers. I don't give a shit about how much subscribers you have. But they have these subscribers. That's the rich of this world. They have a large following, right? So that's, that's what the rich of this world, okay? It's not always equated to money, okay? And it says, and draw you before the judgments. So these rich men, the Pharisees, they were drawing what? Those to what? Judgment seats. This is what they were doing. And who did they draw? To? They draw, they drew Yahushua to the judgment seat. These are them same men back in again today. Okay, looking, sounding demonic as hell. 
Because the Lord, what, is snatching those spirits, okay, from men. Men that were not very sincere from the beginning, from the beginning. Okay. Do not they blaspheme that worthy name which you are called? If you fulfill the royal law, according to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And a lot of men, they have a hard time doing that. Right? A lot of men, they actually got hate in their heart for other men, but they're hiding it. Okay? And it says that if you have respect to persons, I know this guy, I know him. You commit sin, that's going off. And are convinced of the law as transgressors. So that's a transgression, right? So if you're doing it, you need to repent from that. Okay? For whosoever, therefore, right? Shall keep. Okay? The whole law. Because you've got men, they're pushing the attitude like they're keeping the whole law, all of the law, when they're not. Okay? And yet offending one point. One point. So if a man says, well, you know, you've got to keep all the laws, but you offend him one point, he is guilty of all. That means you're guilty of all, breaking them all. If you're holding yourself to keeping all the laws, which we keep the laws to the best of our ability, but if you're a man that says, yeah, I'm keeping all the laws, and you break one, you're guilty of breaking all. For he that said, do not commit adultery, Said also, do not kill. So are you going around saying, don't do this, don't sleep with other men's wives, don't kill, right? Don't thief, don't steal, don't lie. Now, if thou commit no adultery, what if that kill? So if you're, if you're saying don't do these particular things, but you do one of them, let's listen to this. Yet if that killed, I'll become a transgressor of the law. So you may say, example, I want to put an example. You're telling the individual, don't, don't commit adultery, don't eat pork. And you go ahead and you eat pork. Guess what that makes you? A breaker of the law and it makes you a hypocrite. You're telling another brother to be brotherly, brotherly love. But you got wicked intentions towards your brother. That makes you a hypocrite. That makes you a hypocrite. And the Lord is just going to destroy men like that if they don't repent. Okay? So speak ye, so do as they shall be judged by the law. So you're going to be judged by that same law that you claim to uphold. Okay, Mr. Holy than thine. Okay. For he shall have judgment without mercy who have shown no mercy. So judge, greater judgment is going to be to those that knew they could have what, forgiven their brothers, but they did not. Greater judgment is going to be upon those. Because you wish I could, look, this was beautiful. You wish I could forgive a man that's went off, but he can judge you. Just by the way you're going on, you're carrying on. Okay? We're going to shut off soon. And mercy, and mercy rejoice over judgment. So it's clear as day. Right? Mercy rejoices over judgment. Okay? But a lot of our people, they don't want to apply the scriptures. It's about applying what to the best of our ability, right? Because you're not going to be perfect. But as long as you're applying, right? Let's go to John. Can't stand that, ho that holy and nice spirit. And that's how the Christians are. The Christians would be going to church on Sundays, but for the rest of the week, what are they doing? Being hypocrites. This is first jump. One. And five. This then is the message which you have heard of him, and that I declare unto you that the Most High is light, and him is no dark. There's no darkness in Yahweh Abishai, none. Right? At all. If we shall say, if we say we have fellowship, 
with him, certain men, they, they say they have fellowship with Yahweh Shai, right? And we walk in the darkness. We lie, right? And do not the truth. Okay? So if we say that, but you walk in darkness, lies, deception, okay? You lie and the truth is not in you. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, okay, which is what you have a shine, okay? We have fellowship, one with another. And the blood of Yahweh Shai, his son, turns on us of all sin. Right? Which he's able to do. You have to believe in that as well. Bear with just a minute. If we say we have no sin, and that's just, our people, they have that mentality. No, uh, uh, well, I don't have any sin. No, you do. But it's what turns through Yahweh Shai. Okay? If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, so that's, you're only deceiving yourself, right? And the truth is not in us, that, that's a man, the truth is not in him. Just like it's in him, what, John 8 and 44, right? And it says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins. If we confess our sins to him, we don't got to go to a, any other demonic men that uh, need forgiveness themselves. Confess your sins to Yahweh Shai. And he's what? Righteous to forgive. Okay? Us, our sins. And to cleanse us of all our what? Unrighteousness. You see? If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar. And that's what the chief priests and Pharisees were doing. Because they were not accepting Yahweh Shai, so that, that therefore they mean they obviously thought they were perfect. If we say we don't see me, make him a light, and his word is not in us. So that's how you know those that have the word and those that don't have the word. Just by that alone. Okay. This truth is about being honest with ourselves, man. Right? Bear me just a minute. Just being real. This is Proverbs 29. He that being often reproved, okay, hardeneth his neck. So a man's often reproved all the time. He ends up what hardening his neck. Right? In other words, being stubborn. That's why the scriptures this of rebellious people. Shall suddenly be destroyed and without remedy. Without healing. Remedy is a healing. Right? And the remedy is these words, this truth. Right? So if you're looking at this word, well, uh, uh, I don't, I don't want to hear that. That's annoying. Well, ultimately, at the end, you're just going to say, you know what? Leave him alone. I don't want to chastise him anymore. Let me just destroy him. If you don't want to be chastised. Scripture says, blesses that man who the Lord chastises him. Therefore, well, what's it, um, despise of not the chastisement of the Lord Yahweh Shai. That means he's dealing with you as a son. And he's gonna keep, we're going to continue to be chastised until we're out of him. That means Yahweh Shai is dealing with you as a son. Because the moment he stops doing that, that's when you need to worry. So with this lesson, I'm going to shut up here. And to the next time, shut up on to the hopeful elect across the globe. Shut up on.